Welcome to the latest episode of Lo-Fi Travel. Considered a must in Luang Prabang, Kwangsi Falls is small, beautiful, clean, and absolutely riddled with tourists. The standard way to get there is via tuk-tuk, for the equivalent of 25 US dollars negotiable down to 20. They drive you there, wait for two to three hours, and drive you back into town. From a large new parking lot, you buy a ticket for around three US dollars. Then you're shuttled onto an electric trolley with a bunch of other tourists. When the car is full, they drive up the hill, which would otherwise be quite a long steep walk, and drop you off at a clearing full of stands charging extortionate prices for hats, t-shirts, and local fast food. I believe I was charged $5 for an ear of corn and two grilled small bananas, all old and cold, though they came directly off the grill. I guess the grills are more like display tables here. There are no lockers to put your things in while you swim, or if there are lockers, there are very few of them and they're down where you buy the tickets, not actually up near where you need them. I went to the falls on a Saturday, left my little waterproof 7-Eleven backpack within my sight on a half underwater picnic table for the perhaps 20 minutes I spent in the water, and my debit card info was used to purchase $400 of Deutsche Bahn tickets on Tuesday. Perhaps a coincidence, but far more likely the four German university students swimming in the same pool. I did file a police report with the Berlin Online Police Station and a complaint with Deutsche Bahn in addition to disputes with my bank. I hope they arrest the rude little fucker. As for the swimming itself, in late November, it was swimmable. The current is weak, the water is crispy, but not too cold. I highly recommend swim shoes because the bottom is very rocky, and there's also a bunch of deadwood down there. I think going around lunchtime on Saturday was a big mistake. There was a real public pool vibe with some strangers unabashedly gawking and others getting extremely territorial for their bikini selfies. With friends, not only would you be able to keep your belongings safe, but the crowds might be less annoying. As a solo traveler, I wished I had gone very early some weekday morning when I might have had a more tranquil experience. The hiking trail to the top of the falls was closed when I was there, quite a disappointment for me. The exit is also odd. They route you through the bear rescue sanctuary, which I suppose boosts donations, but for me was a waste of time. It's not worth going twice unless you're a local with a motorcycle, but if I had to do it all over again, I'd time it differently. I'd leave everything but a tiny bit of cash hidden somewhere in my hotel room, and I'd bring my own snacks. As you can see, it is very beautiful nonetheless. Those small changes could have made this very meh experience into a wonderful one, I think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.